Hello humans, welcome to Starlight and Stitches. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you have been here before and you're coming back, thanks very much, really appreciate it. And I hope you've remembered to subscribe. If you are new, then welcome. You're now in Alice Land with me, I'm Alice. And here in Starlight and Stitches in Alice Land, we like to talk about yarny stuff, crochet, we do crochet book reviews, yarn hauls, end of the month finished project videos, all sorts of lovely crafty goodness. So if you think that is something you might enjoy, hit subscribe, join us, because my subscribers are the best. And this is our lovely, happy positive place here on the internet guys I'm really sorry I know I was supposed to do a video last Wednesday and then last Saturday and I didn't do it um everything just went crazy crazy busy so I apologize but I am back now um I do have this video for you today and I do have already one videoed and recorded and ready to go for Saturday so you will get one today and you will get one on Saturday so my apologies, I am sorry. Life is busy and things got out of control. Um, it was my daughter's birthday and basically we had loads of stuff to do and I had no time and work's been crazy busy. Anyway, you don't wanna hear all that. What we're doing today, we're looking at a book. We're looking at Amigurumi Winter Wonderland. Da, da, da. This is uh, the third book in my four books that we are looking at this year for Christmas. Um, I've just realized that I have got some missing nails um, on my hands uh, that are not painted. So do ignore that as we go through the book today. This is gonna be like absolutely hectic, this video. My brain is all over the place, but I am here with you. And we are looking at this book. This is by Ilara Kaliri. Lovely. And it is published by Meteor Books. We have done a lot of books by Meteor Books before and they're pretty good normally. So we're going to have a look through this and see what we think. I will do my usual. I will chat to you here as I flick through the book and I shall put some pictures up here for you to have a look at to see whether or not this book is something you would like to purchase. Um, Basically, the reason I do these videos and we go through lots of different crochet books is I don't want you spending out money on crochet books and then finding that actually there's only two patterns in there that you'll ever, ever use. This gives you a good idea then of if it's something you want to buy and then if you want to buy it, you can buy it and hopefully it'll give you some inspiration as well on things. I've just noticed Aggie for some reason has turned round. Can we, can we just, thanks darling, thanks. I don't know what she was doing. So let's go through this book. I got this off of Amazon, but the recommended retail price on this book is United Kingdom, £11.50, uh, US dollars, £17.95, Canadian dollars, £23.95, and Euros, £14.95. I am pretty sure that Ilaria Kaliri is somebody who I have seen their patterns before. Might have been in... Um, an Amigurumi Monsters book, or it could have been in a um, fantasy Amigurumi Dragons and Monsters book. I can't remember which one it's from, but I've definitely seen this person's name before, so we know we're in good hands. Let's make a move and start looking through this book. So, as usual, my lovely friends, we have a lovely um, little welcome here from the author of this book. And as we always get in any books published by Meteor Books, we have got a nice um, section at the beginning about basic materials, tells you about the skill levels that are in this book. So each pattern will have a specific skill level, easy, intermediate or advanced. So if you're a beginner, there will be plenty for you in the easy levels. If you are more advanced, then you've got intermediate or advanced. To be fair, even the advanced ones in these books are always so well explained that I think anyone can do them as long as you just concentrate a little bit. You'll be absolutely fine. So we've got all the important information at the beginning. Gives you all the basic stitches, as always, in the front, which is always helpful, um, especially more so for beginners. Um, if you're not sure about certain things, it just gives you the instructions in the beginning so you can go back and just go, oh, yep, no, I definitely know what I'm doing with that. So we have all of that and we've got some slightly um, special, like special stitches, things like spike stitches, um, surface slip stitches, all that kind of thing. So that's really helpful. It's got a piece about joining all the parts together as well. So now we get to the best bit. This is the bit that we like. This is all the patterns that are available in this book. So it does say on the front here that we have got 15 original crochet patterns. 15, it's pretty good I think. Um, like if you're in the UK and you're spending £11.50, that's less than a pound a pattern. So let's see if any of these take your fancy. When we get to the end of the video, I would like you to comment below which one is your favourite. Um, and I will tell you my favourite from this book. So we start with... The Snowman, this is a easy skill level, so this should be pretty simple for everybody to do. 
Um, he's got lovely earmuffs and a scarf and some cute little buttons down the front. You don't have to put buttons on if you don't want to. Um, all these sort of extra bits, they're all editable. So I always say with any of these books, you can change the colours, you can change the yarn size, you can change as long as if you're changing the yarn size, make sure you've got an appropriate hook for Amigurumi. We usually size down one hook size for whatever yarn we're using to keep the stitches nice and tight. It gives you what materials that they've used for this pattern at the beginning of each pattern. Um, but like I say, you do not have to do that. You can do whatever you like. If you want to make a bright green snowman with a purple nose, feel free. Do whatever you like. So, after our lovely snowman, we have got, oh my gosh, it's a baby emperor penguin. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's all fluffy. So there's obviously felted the yarn afterwards with that. So this is a skill level two, and he's surrounded by some beautiful little pom-poms. He's very sweet indeed. My sister is a big fan of penguins. She would like him. I've already made a penguin for my nephew, but that was kind of a made up pattern. This is very cute. I like this a lot. The third pattern in this book is a Santa Claus. And this is also a skill level two. This is quite a nice Santa Claus. Um, he's got like his beard is chubby. A lot of the time on the Amigurumis, you get like a flat piece. Um, so I quite like his moustache and his beard and I also love these little parcels that he's got. They're really cute. Actually, they could be made into like an advent calendar, couldn't they? I wonder if that's something, yeah, that's something that we might see later on. Okay, so after Father Christmas, we have got a reindeer. This one is a skill level two. He's got a very, very cute little jumper. Um, you'll see later on, reindeer actually has a friend um, who's also available in this book uh, and they are best friends mm. and I can't wait to show you who his best friend is uh, and show you the pattern so reindeer is lovely really cute little red nose and his lovely little jumper which again you could crochet in any colours you want if you've got um, somebody in your family who's a football fan you could crochet the jumper in the, the football strip colours or somebody's favourite colours or somebody's school colours very very adaptable here is Reindeer's best friend. This is Bear, and Bear is also adorable. Um, oh gosh, I love things like this so much. He's got the cutest jumper on as well, which again, it would be an adaptable colour palette. You could put them in whatever colours you like. And the Bear, you could put in whatever colours you like. This is sort of a creamy coloured, pale grey, maybe sort of Bear. You could do them in browns or pinks or blues or however you feel like doing your bear oh and there's a really cute picture there of bear and reindeer just hanging out together in their little jumpers very very nice indeed right the next one we've got is oh did i tell you the skill level i think i did but i'm not 100 percent sure so i'll just remind you that bear is a skill level too next we've got a five pointed star with a very cute little face on um i think with this one you need some felt for this um which you can get quite cheaply online or in your local craft store so very cute little five pointed star i like that i love those little faces i like anything with a face on things that shouldn't have faces put a face on it i love it so a very cute little five pointed star would make a lovely tree decoration then we've got some jingle bells, which once again, you could make as a tree decoration if you wanted, or you could have um, some bunting hanging around with them hanging off of um, for Christmas decorations around the house, or you could put them in as little stocking fillers or little extra gifts for your friends and family, like those little bells. And then we've got a baby angel, and this is also in the same vein as the bell and the star, so you could attach a loop at the top, hang it on your tree, or you could give them as extra gifts. Very nice. Um, I think I just completely missed that they are both, no, the angels are two skill level and the jingle bell is a one skill level. So very, very sweet. Right, next we have got this gorgeous gingerbread house. Now this is a skill level three. Um, I would assume it's to do with the rooftop um, and the stitches required for the rooftop. But once you've got the hang of doing these sort of stitches once you've done like a row or two then you're you're away you can just crack on and it would be great it's also got a good chart in here for doing it. i'm not going to show you because i don't show patterns i'll just show pictures but there is a chart in here for doing the rooftop if you find them easier to follow then we have this gorgeous saint bernard bernard dog 
hello Alice, learn to talk English. Here's a skill level one, so it's fairly simple to make and he's very sweet. Um, he's got a little, what's he got around his neck? I think it's like a little barrel or is that a first aid thing? It might be a first aid thing. That's sweet, little bit St. Bernard dog. Then we have, I love this one. This is the Christmas train. Um, so you've got the, it all comes in sections. So you've got the locomotive base and cabin. Um, and then it goes into the nose of the locomotive, chimney, uh, cabin roof, wheels, small wheels, big wheels. Very, very nice. And then the basket to go at the back and then how to put it all together. This is really nice. This would make a lovely um, decoration to go along a mantelpiece. And you could put some chocolates in the back. Mm -hmm. Then we have got a nativity scene. Now I've been looking for a little nativity scene um, and this would do just lovely. This is a skill level two. Um, you've got Mother Mary, you've got Father Joseph, and you've got Baby Jesus. Very nice indeed. Um, and again, if you wanted to adapt the colours slightly to your interpretation of the nativity scene, then please feel free to do that. Then we have a lovely peace dove, and this is a skill level two. It's a very nice little dove. That's really sweet, actually. I like that a lot. And he's got his little olive branch in his mouth which obviously is the symbol for peace. Then we have got these two adorable little elves. Um, very cute. These elves, it says, would make a super cute placeholder for Christmas dinner. In the elves' pocket, you could hide a personal message for your guests. They have got adorable little pockets on the front and these cute little bobble hats. I like them. They make me smile a lot. So then we have got like is on the front cover, we have got the hot air balloon. So the hot air balloon, this is a skill level two, says this beautiful balloon makes an original advent calendar. A small gift or candy can be hidden in each bag to count down the days before Christmas. But it can be just as well, oh, but it can just as well be a beautiful decoration for a colorful nursery. See, that's actually a really cool idea. Things like the hot air balloon, um, the train, um, Actually, a lot of the stuff in here, apart from maybe Father Christmas, you can do these as just regular things. They don't necessarily have to be Christmas orientated. But this hot air balloon is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I like that. That's really, really nice. Okay, has it got the, actually, I was wondering, because it said about the little bags, didn't it? Does it say about how to do the bags? Oh, it's got a little elf on here. And yes, it has, it's got the bag. So as part of the hot air balloon, what you're actually getting is the whole hot air balloon, the little elf that goes with it, and the little bags too. So it's kind of three in one, isn't it really? So that book is pretty good. Um, what have we got at the back of this book? Oh, look, let's have a look at our lovely artist. So this is her here. It says, hi, I'm Ilaria. I love beautiful yarns and fabrics wooden knitting needles and crochet hooks and amigurumi of course. They're my first and greatest love. After giving it a first try it's impossible to resist making these funny and soft characters. I started to design them myself making very unique and personal softies. I'm fascinated by all sorts of crafts. Each material, each ball of yarn inspires me to design a new project for little ones and grown-ups. Crochet is my passion along with eating ice cream, collecting tin boxes and hunting for vintage objects. Since 2010, I've shared what I do and I love on my blog, which I'll link down below for you. You'll discover that the main theme of my blog is the search for what I call Wonderland. I try to find it in the simple and little things of everyday life. I will put all of her links down below, so if you enjoy her designs and things like that, then you can have a look at her blog. I will link to her Facebook page, and if she's got an Instagram, I will put that down below as well. So, that's the book. There's a nice little thank you in the back there as well. What do we think of Amigurumi Winter Wonderland? Is this the sort of Christmas crochet book that you've been looking for or is it not? Have I saved you some pennies or have I enabled you to buy even more crochet books? Um, I really like this an awful lot. I think out of all of them, my favourite, what is my favourite? I don't know. I quite like the train but I also really like the elves. I'm gonna say the elves are my favorite because I just think they're adorable. And I love something with a pocket that you could poke something in. You could put like sweets in it or a little candy cane for Christmas. So the elves are my favorite. Let me know what your favorite pattern was from this book. Um, 
we've got one more Christmas crochet book to look through which will be being uploaded on Saturday. Uh, I hope you liked this book. I like this book. I'm glad I've got this book. I don't think I've got time to make anything from this book because I'm so busy but this is really cool. So let me know what you thought. Come and join me on Saturday for the last Christmas book in this mini series um, and hopefully out of all four books I have found something for you that you might like. The last book's a bit different from the others actually, like the setup and the layout, completely different to anything I've had before so it'll be an interesting one to go through. My lovely friends, talk to me in the comments, let me know what you thought, um, have a good week. Be good because <laughs> Father Christmas is watching and the elves are watching so be good he knows when you've been good or bad so be good for goodness sake look after yourselves look after your loved ones and I'll see you on Saturday for another book review yay see you later